The September 1982 issue of Compute covered the new Disney movie Tron and how the personal computer was instrumental in its creation. The Atari and Apple produced sounds of greater purity than some synthesizers, according to Frank Serafine, one of the creators of the Tron soundtrack. The computer, an extension of the human intellect. He used these computers to create some of the movie's most memorable sound effects. While Tron's stunning visual effects and pioneering use of animated computer graphics attracted the most attention, the sounds, like the visual, were also the product of high technology computerization. Even more interesting, at least for personal computer enthusiasts, is the equipment used to fashion these sounds. An off-the-shelf Atari 800 and an Apple II. Consider the roar of the light cycles, the futuristic motorcycles on which the gladiators of Tron duel while racing along the circuit grids of the computer in which they are trapped. To make the light cycles seem real, Seraphin assembled and combined more than 50 different sounds. When a cycle makes its 90 degree turn to cut off an opponent, for example, the sound effect is a combination of video game tones generated on Atari and a recording of a buzz saw. The Apple II was used with plug-in sound cards from Mountain Hardware and an Alpha Satori keyboard to create the bonging noise of a thrown discus. The Apple's bonging sound was overdubbed with recordings of a bullwhip and of monkeys screaming at the San Diego Zoo. All of the thousands of sound effects created on the computers or collected on tape were cataloged on the Atari with File Manager 800, a database program by Synapsis Software. Serafin says it saved his studio hours of tedious filing. Serafin then went on to lament that the sound capabilities of these computers were underused, partly because the proper tools are not available. Unfortunately, most people take sound effects for granted, he says. The sounds in Tron come and go so fast that almost nobody realizes the amount of labor involved. Compute published a short program with the article that let you create three sound effects on your Atari computer. Little programs like this would go a long way to influence young programmers. 